So if you're unaware, Liz's passive can be kind of tedious and long to max out. You need six attacks from Archangels or Sins, and then you get her max passive with the 15% extra stats. But I heard a birdie tell me in chat that Green Sauriel counters do proc her passive. So I was hopeful that we can use that to our advantage and um, get max passive in the first turn. Now, even if I, you know, don't get the enemy to attack me at all when I have the counter up, which will happen probably a lot of times, uh, because, you know, they could just not attack the counter. Uh, <laughs> if they attack me once, that's enough that in the second turn, I can actually have my passive up, because the thing is that the passive only maxes out after the sixth attack, right? Level two counter, very nice. And so, um, after the sixth attack is when you get it. So your sixth attack, your last attack in that turn will not have the maxed out passive, which is kind of annoying. Also, we're using green Zaldris so that we can actually have more attack and HP for her because she uses both, right? She uses both attack and HP, which is great for her. All right, let's see. This is AI because <laughs> We're playing uh, Challenger. <laughs> and Challenger... Um, real players in Challenger? <laughs> Where? But this is 6 attacks. So if the... The prophecy is correct. Yep, we do have max passive for her. Let's see. So, okay. We can also much more easily... 600,000 HP. We can also much more easily get, um, let's do this, max uh, passive for Margaret as well, because we're going to have uh, stances proccing the passive as well, much more easily than if I was using, like, uh, I don't know, someone else. <laughs> I don't know. Can't think of anyone from down my head. <laughs> level 3 Connor? No, okay. Well, we can get a very big time level 1 here for her, because we're going to have max um, max ultimate gauge. So we can blue card, stance, and that will give us two more stacks of uh, Mar- Oh, unless Lilia dies. We can have a big time single target for her. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. On Zaldris, let's- let's- <laughs> Uh, actually, let's kill Rimuru because he got ultimate there. Alright, let's proc this. So we're going to have two more stacks of Margaret passive. Uh, oh, we already have maxed out Margaret. Oh, never mind then. We can just do this. And get the kill here on both. Forgot how easy it is to proc it when you have true characters doing it. Nice damage, Rimuru. Missed every crit. But still... Uh, Still done. Yeah, his passive works in the back, Albert. Albert. <laughs> it does, I promise. All right, let's go for this. Uh, this is a real player. So, let's see if he actually attacks me and triggers the uh, the counters. Oh, level 3 single target for uh, Liz. Nice, nice. I kind of want to kill Rimuru because he removes your... He's attacking me. No way. I think he thinks he's going to kill Saurio. Listen, bro. Saurio is tanky. If only he didn't seal my healing as well. The full heal every single attack. Um, oh, can I kill both? Okay, let's do this, right? Okay. We're gonna do this. For damage. I wanna make sure that we kill Kyo, though. So no more Ignites. Ooh! Should've attacked Rimuru. Oh my god, I didn't know I was gonna just eviscerate the Lilia. If I knew, I would have gone for, for Rimuru there. 
Why not level 2 Margaret? Because I want to do 2 attacks. Probably could have killed Hugh the level 1 though. Jeez. Oh, Margaret's dead though. Oh! Never mind. Is that HP defense rumor? Let's see. It definitely has to, it has to be. I can't tell, his stats are so high. <laughs> his stats are so high, I can't tell. Actually, never mind. Oh, this will kill? Even if it doesn't, I have revive. I didn't get a counter since turn 1 though. I don't know if the level 1 would have killed with the level 2 Margaret increase, because it's such a minor increase. Could have though. Wouldn't be able to tell now. Ludo, ooh. Or not. Shin! It's loading. Okay. Hmm. Well. I don't think he's gonna attack me first turn. We'll see. Oh. What's wrong with PvP today, man? What is this? Don't disconnect me from the match. Oh. It's a bot too. Why? Why is it so demanding on my connection? It took a long time to load, so I thought it was a real player. I mean, it could be a real player if he just leaves next by, I guess, and he has perfect connection with me. <laughs> Alright, next turn we cleanse the Ignites. Like I said, no attacks. This is, this is what I feared uh, with Saurio, right? That my enemies would just not attack me. <laughs> Because, like, why would they? You know? They could just ult rush whenever I pop the uh, the counter. But let's see, let's see. So, the damage reduction that Saurio gets is very good. I think he's gonna survive. Oh, yeah, that's nothing. Okay. I, was like, I, think, he, I think he is gonna survive the Ban attack here. And he survives with no issues whatsoever. Good. With four ignites, sure. Alright, let's um I mean this is supposed to be about Liz, but let's 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 let Sauri out do an ultimate here. Uh -huh. right. Okay. Interesting. Again, we're just gonna pop in the Sauril counter. Man, this team has a lot of CC too. Two, seven, uh, sorry, 372k. And I'm using uh, two of my characters with HP crit. Both Sauril and uh, Liz have HP crit, not HP defense. I could slide in 376 maybe. Uh, you should work on your Megalda then if you want to beat Bird, not your Draw and your Glocks. Megalda is number one for Bird. Maybe Rainhilder is number one, if you don't have to do another block. You know. Ooh, nice, okay. Uh, Let's do this. That's al almost max ultimate gauge for her, so this is gonna hurt. Yep. Alright, the end, um, Margaret. Ooh. Might as well go for this. I can just cleanse next turn. The... The disable. I can just cleanse. Oh. Okay. That's not bad. 
We can level 3 with Margaret next turn, and do a Sorrow AoE as well. I love... Man, Sorrow's counters are so good, because it actually gets damage reduction with them. If only they they would, like, give Estorosa, like, a relic like that, that would make his counters more powerful when Estorosa gets a relic. Alright, so now uh, Liz got max passive. Nice. I should have actually attacked with Sauriel first to debuff them and give me more Zaldra's passive, but it's okay. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Oh, never mind, because this is a terrible team for Liz. Sorry, I forgot. <laughs> uh, Sauriel ultimate won't do the most damage. Because he doesn't have a, a, a taunt, but we're gonna go for it anyways. And then Liz AoE as well, and then ult of Margaret. Margaret at her prime was so good. Yeah, yeah, like I said. <laughs> Especially with the damage reduction, that wasn't going to do much. The 40% damage reduction, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, sorry, not 40, because he also has damage reduction with Margaret. No, there was no damage reduction. Blue card? Or was there? No, I'm confused. No, I'm actually confused. Wait, Liz... <laughs> Her ult with disabled wouldn't get revive, but I think I'm just gonna kill her. Margaret disabled won't, will not kill Sauriel. Yeah, that's blue card. 6-6, six, six. look at them. That's truly max passive for Margaret here. And now Margaret, there's no chance Margaret kill, kill Sario. No chance. Not with damage reduction. And she can't even crit. Yep. A long match. I love DN with Tarmia Link matches. They're so much fun. Another Ludo. Love to see it. Love seeing Ludo. Let's go for this. Don't like facing Remus the most because he cocks my blue cards, but it's okay. I don't even blue card in the first turn anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. I love what you next turn as well if I want you. Tier list update when? <sighs> I, I still don't know where to rank. Liz for PvE. It's like maybe next week they're gonna drop like a PvE activity that she's good at, but like there's no PvE activity that she's like really good for. But at the same time, it's like it's not like she's bad for PvE because she does a lot of damage. It's it's hard to rank her for PvE. I wanna see more counters actually. I was gonna go for this. It's like, she's really bad for the Demonic Beast battles. Uh, for Bird, she's not horrible. She's just not good, right? And if, you're, if she's not good, then you might as well not use her. And then for Deer, she's just horrible. <laughs> just kill them all through the counters. Get max ultimate gauge. You're gonna kill the next one with the AoE.
Uh, you can you can use you can swap uh, icons for whatever icon you want to use on the chat. Um, this should be best. Oh no, I should have blue card with Margaret. Ah, it's fine. You thought this was showcase, so uh, you'd be wrong. Oh, that ugly Guild Wars DM costume. Like, facing... See, th that's the thing about Green Saurio. Using him over, like, Tarmio. At least with Tarmio, there's some form of ult lock. Like, if I kill the Margaret and he can't cleanse, I can stop him from getting the ult as easily. Like, ult rushing right now is so powerful in the matter because of the end of Tarmio link. So annoying. <laughs> Again, Margaret's ultimate. That's max passive for her. But it's like, man. <laughs> the end of Tarmia Link is just obscene. They really hit the park with, or hit the mark with, uh, Goddess Liz V2 in terms of annoyance. That's max passive for his as well. Mm. That should kill the end. Then I kind of want to do this for damage. It does stack up. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the cards combined, huh? How great. The cards combined for his Liz. Wow. Is it sick? It's probably 6-6. Six, six. It's going to one-shot me. Yes. If it doesn't one-shot me, then cool. Why oh, did you change your Twitch name? Did it one shot me? Is it not 6-6? Six, six? Oh, she was disabled, so she doesn't get revive. Oh, she was 6-6. Six, six. the hell? Hmm. I'll kill Margaret, no cleanse. Should have willed more? Should have got 7 6, right? That shit is not good for this. I, I don't like Liz for ult rush. If you're gonna ult rush, use an ultimate that actually can finish the job. Like, her ultimate is good. But. It's no Trader Mally. It's no Trader Mally or um, or Rimuru. No. Can we finish this match? It's, <laughs> it's so long. Uh, like the only reason why you'd want to use it is because of the revive. But like, if you're ult rushing anyways, the ult is gonna finish the match. Alright, that's about it for this team. I mean, it's, it's good. Uh, I really like Green Sauro, but it's like Red Tarmio having the ult lock is really powerful. Or oh, his Holy Relic, right? 
If Green Sario's passive also worked on Liz, it would be great, but it's only for Archangels. It's like, uh, it's... Green Sario, it's so weird, man. Why would he have a passive that only works on the Archangels and they release no Mael after him? Right? It only would make sense. But this, these developers make no sense, so. Anyways. <laughs>